Alrighty, I'm going to try to do this best I can. Uh, I've had to pull one of my plugs from my lights to plug in my uh, my uh, foam cutter here. But uh, you can see um, I have shaped my foam cutter. I've got the wire shaped already for the uh, door facing here and the window facing here. So again, I'm still experimenting. I'm still kind of playing with all this. So uh, bear with me. Um, I've had to uh, make some custom uh, guidelines here. I've got some tape here with the blue dub line here and a reference line because uh, again uh, the plate's really big and cumbersome for the uh, the type of work I'm going to do with it. But uh, anyway, so on this one here it's plugged in and it does have an indicator here that uh, it is uh, heating up and once you pull the trigger here's your heat uh, source here and uh, I am going to set this down real quick and put me a mask on because this will, you will have to use a mask with this because the, uh, the fumes on this are just insane. Anyway, I've got the trigger pulled. It's heating up. I've got it to almost full power because this is uh, pretty thick. Uh, so you can see it's smoking because I didn't clean uh, the rest of the foam off. Okay, so it's heated up pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my blue guideline here to this line here. And I am going to cut and try to stay straight. And again, this is, uh, I'm still playing with this. So uh, it is... Uh, and ongoing but you see how fast I'm going I'm just uh, letting it just go okay again there's my door facing right there not too bad I don't know if you guys can see it but uh, I'm gonna set that down here I'm gonna take this off here anyway but uh, that's how fast the door facing went there and it's again it's not perfectly smooth but once I get all my grout lines and my bricks cut up and cut in my door facings here that's not bad and then when i come around on the other side and do the uh cutaway here i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to sit here and i'm going to set my uh, depth on there so i'm going to shallow it up a little bit i'm going to cut on the other side and actually make this the door facing here so it's going to go from the height here bevel in and curve in and then go around to the door facing here i'm gonna do the same thing on the windows here i'm gonna turn it around and get the same bevel on the window so you know what let me uh, let me play with that real quick so let's uh, i'm gonna put hang you guys back up here and i'm gonna do the windows real quick so you guys can see that and again uh until i get my smaller jig in um i'm just having to Go by my uh, my set line here, and what that line is set for is the outermost rim there on my uh, cutters. And I, again, it, it's really hard to see because I had to take care of my lighting situation. And I had to use my plug. So okay, I'm gonna press the trigger. It's gonna make the uh, circuit heat up my blade, and once it starts smoking, it's gonna let me know it's ready. So again, it's heating up. It's heating up. Okay, I see it smoking, so I'm gonna line up my uh, my lines here. And again, I'm gonna try to keep this as straight as I can. And I could use a piece of wood and all that stuff to uh, You guys see that? I'm going to do the other side now. And again, I'm going to have to come in at a different angle. Plus, I'm not going to have my jig line set until I actually get onto the foam. Okay, I'm trying to keep it straight. And I know there's other ways to do it. I just, uh, right now, I'm just so excited that this thing actually cuts.
Okay, sorry about my head in the way. I'm just going to cut the center of this window out without me having to use my... Uh, I'm going to take you guys off here. Alrighty. So, again, it's messy, but I've got a lot of cleaning to do. But this thing does your... Uh, it does a real quick job of just getting a basic form. There's the door facing. There's the inner window facings here. So, I've, I've turned 45 minutes of work into like five. So, I've got my basic window trim. I'm going to go in here and do my window seals manually or with my razor knife. I've got my door facing it all matches so i've got matching trim my doors and windows so anyway um i'm gonna pause this and come back and i will show you what i've done okay all righty uh that was a quick pause but uh i went ahead and uh trimmed out the windows i went ahead and uh use my uh big knife here to uh trim out all the uh, plaster because i've only got one tip to this thing one and it takes it takes a long time to reset that wire because the kit only comes with one wire and the wire it comes with is actually too thick you can get a hobby you can go to a hobby store and they can order you some wire but uh the, th the thinner blades will probably work you better but I, like i said that's the only blade that come on that came on that but uh anyway so i went ahead and cut out the window and i used my single pane template to sit in the center of that and cut it because that's what's going to go in there or I can set it up to where I can use the the part that I cut out I can I can shape and foam I can shape and uh, turn into shutters wooden shutters but uh, anyway but I went ahead and make my inside marks to where my uh, framing is going to go the same with my door but if you see I went ahead and uh, sharpied out all my uh, brick joints and everything but uh, anyway but that uh, that foam cutter really made fast work, and it actually adds another element to your uh, to your building because now you've got a natural curve facing, and you can keep that same curve throughout your project uh, once you get to the point where you have to do all the cuts at the same time, or just don't mess with your uh, blade because you can leave those blades the same but you'll have to mark the depth on them. So if you get more than one blade or, or you know two or three blades and you want to use the same curve, you can take that blade off and leave it you know bent so you can come back to it, but you got to remember the depth. So mark it with blue tape or, or whatever. Anyway, but uh that's my quick little uh building and the, the cool thing is the stuff that you cut off, the stuff that you cut off is also got elements that you can use you can sand it down and use for cornice or, or uh, trim work uh, to add to the top or the bottoms of your buildings because I went ahead and left this but I think I might do is come back and cut that out and actually add this and cut brick joints in there but I think that'll actually match up better anyway but uh, that's just a general idea like I said I'm still playing with this thing so uh, this is my remedial course on just basic cutting you know, 101, I'm learning just as, as, as many times as I do this and show you guys, I'm actually learning. And what I'm going to do on this here is I can set a, this thing comes with guides that you can put the guides in here. And I'm going to use this other corner here to uh, play with and cut this inside corner out here and just see what that does and just run that guide along the end of it. Because it does come with uh, plastic I, I, I went ahead and put a spacer in here because I was going to try to do something, but it didn't work out. But it comes with these black uh, guides that, that screw in here that you can actually uh, run down the side when you're cutting. But unfortunately, my applications don't really don't require those because I'll have to, you know, alter my uh, cutting. But anyway, but again, this is uh, my third time using it. So uh, this is uh, what I've come up with. Anyway, any questions, uh, criticisms, you know, fantasizing and all that stuff, just uh, definitely let me know. And uh, if you've got some ideas and if, you, if you're, if uh, you you know, a veteran of, of using foam cutters, uh, definitely I need some uh, pointers. But other than that, I'm not too bad for a window. I'll get back with you guys on a finished product.